was... Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter board game every single time and give my honest thoughts on how it's being ran. And today, I am very excited to be checking out the Gamer's Chest, an all-in-one tabletop game organizer. This thing has already raised $260,000. And I'll be honest with you, I, I thought about covering this when it first started, and now I'm kicking myself for not doing it because I'm sure this is a, this is a really popular one now. $1,000. 1,729 backers, 17 days to go, and I'm looking at this picture, and as a board gamer, I'm just like, oh, oh my goodness, it looks so good, you got Carcassonne set up, but compatible with any tabletop game, you can use them as coasters, bag tiles, arena, dice tower, dice box, tiles, every, like... I'm what I'm trying to say here is you can do so much with this picture, and so many Kickstarter games don't do that. And so I love the fact that they immediately just bombard me with all this information that is really useful information. But let's check out the video. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Dice Tower. Look how easy that was. They were just like, yeah, you learn how to do this, it's going to look real nice, real easy. And you know you're going to want this Dice Tower if it's actually that easy to get out and set out. It's just, oh, it just looks so good. Great start. Oh my gosh! I... Okay, so one thing that I'm noticing here, they did it at the beginning, they're doing it now. I almost feel like it's too fast. I really want to bask in the shape of each one and think about the different kinds of games that I can use for it. I also see the magnetic clasp right there. Oh, it's just the wood. No, stop going so dang fast. All right. Oh. oh, the zoom in! The zoom in on exactly how it's going to stay in place. Oh, it's so good! And this is the shot I want to see. Yes, look at all those different shapes for different games. That one's for, you know, oh, just excellent, excellent. Stop it! Okay, okay. That came out of nowhere. They just hit you with the tiles, the magnet tiles on the side. It's like the magnet tile game. You can't do that. There's got, there are no more big surprises. Don't do it anymore. There is so much time, effort, and thought put into exactly... It felt, it felt like every single aspect of that video was very carefully selected to be exactly in the right place. And just hats off. That is one of the best videos that I've seen in quite a while. Uh, just, whew, so good. Excellent video. I see why you have 1,700 backers. And this is what I say in these videos. That video, its job is to get people to it instantly want to open their wallet. And so I hope... I hope you've got, I hope down here it's just wallet. Open that wallet. Let me see it. All right. Three created, five backed. Let's see what we got. Gamer's Chest, the all-in-one tabletop game organizer. Oh, so this was a failed project, December 11th, 2020. Oh, and then they came back. And then what's this? Folding wine table, love hearts with hidden lighting. Interesting. Okay, so I know you're into woodworking. I like seeing these. I, I don't mind seeing failures. Funded in 48 hours. That intrigues me. So you retooled the campaign. Hopefully the backers were in on it to launch again today. Yeah, is there? Okay, okay. So they said to themselves, and this is, you know, it's really hard for me to look at one of these, and I've said it before, uh, to look at one of these and say, you know what, you probably should just cancel this, retool the thing go in a different direction, change, make big changes to your Kickstarter. Because once people start 
backing certain levels, things just get locked in. And it, and it becomes hard to, you know, fix things over there. I mean, you can do so much with your... You, it's just hard to do things while you're running the campaign. And I think there is such a valid argument to canceling and retooling. And, and this right here, look at this. You know, $14,000 and they, were, they, they canceled funding, okay? And over here, now we're sitting at a quarter million dollars. This is the kind of... This is the kind of life-changing event that's going to change their life. You know, this, the gamer's chest is now their life. Congratulations, you have hit the home run that you were hoping to hit. And, and, I, and I love seeing this. I love seeing this. Now tell me to open my wallet. Also, go back like 20 other things for a dollar a piece. Then it's three created, 25 backs. You look like more of a member of a community. Sly little tip there. Gamers Check is a unique modular system from B Wood that will help you organize and improve any game. Yes, yes, yes. Right there, right there. I love it. I love the layout. Hit me with the price immediately. The video made me want your product. And now I say $140. Ooh, that's a lot. You know, for me personally, that, that's a complete deal breaker for me. But that's because I'm on a very fixed budget. But if you're not on a fixed budget and you see this and you say, I can, I can display this with my board games. It looks good enough that I can just play it with my board games, and every time I get a board game, I get this out, and I say, oh, what coaster do you think we'll need uh, based on the pieces? So while I'm looking through the rules, someone else is doing this, and that's one thing I love about this, because there's, there's, that, there's always that awkward point when you're playing board games sometimes where... You, someone has to start reading through the rules and you're all just kind of like sitting there and maybe you're organizing cards, maybe you're shuffling, maybe you're, you're setting it up or different things like that. But this gives people something to do. It makes it into a fun little activity and, and I, I just, I love it. So, I, you know, 140 I think is pricey, but I think it's a premium product. They're presenting themselves as a premium product and I think that's, that's, a, that's a price point that people are going to be willing to pay. So I think... They nailed the price. They nailed the video. Uh, they nailed the initial just, just bam. Here's the price. 12 tiles, two bag tiles, one dice box, four coasters, a completely assembled set for exciting game time. 1,000 pieces. Uh, what, what does that mean? I don't, I don't understand what that part means. They can hold, there's not 1,000 pieces in here. It can hold 1,000 pieces? Special price offer, 1,000 rewards only. Oh, so there's a, this is an exclusive... 1,000 only. Really interesting. With the early birds. Okay. Those are all gone, correct? Yes. So those, wow. So that's how you did it. That's how you got that buzz. You had 1,000 early birds. So what do we get after that? What's the next thing? Um, is, is there different prices? Full set special price. This is the nine. Oh, oh, I could jump in right now. Uh, <laughs> too bad. My, no, I'm not going to no, not spend 130 bucks on that. Just my wife would be like, are you kidding me? Uh, it's not even a board game you can review. Uh, full set special price. So this is, oh, wait, what? what's, what's, so what's the difference here? Full set special price. Full set special price. Arena, the, they look the same to me. Am I missing something? Why is this one only for a thousand? And then this one, just for as many as you want. Early birds offer the, oh, the arena leather for free? Is that, is that the difference here? I'm going to guess that's the difference. I would maybe spotlight that difference a little bit more then, if that is in fact the only difference. Let me know. What you guys, what do you all think about that? Because, you know, like I see this and I think this is just like the thing, but it's like, oh, this isn't the thing. This is the special thing for only the first 1,000. Everybody else gets the other thing. And you say, well, what is the other thing? Well, you say this is the thing that the other people are going to get, but you take away that little black thing in the le bottom left-hand corner. You know, it just, it's just not, it, it doesn't flow. I don't know. Anywho, uh, Alder, Maple, oh, different woods. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? We are going so premium. That is cool. Okay, so that's going to lead to a lot of of confusion i have a feeling over here the full set maple the full set cherry the full set oak now i wonder if this yeah this could totally be the kind of thing where i think uh maybe so i feel like that'd be managed better in pledge manager right like so it's like 140 bucks gets you into it and that gets you the b wood or whatever that is but you know in the pledge manager it's just like add ten dollars if you want maple add Fifteen dollars you want cherry. Add thirty dollars if you want oak, and then that keeps this area over here much less cluttered. Uh, I would, I would think. Now they might be using this to kind of get a, a barometer for how many of, of each one they want, because this is like two back, two back, five back. But 
if they don't if you don't need that information right now i, I would clean that up maybe just a little bit well uh, that's one of the things that you can't do in the middle of the stream you can't cancel i'm pretty sure you can pledge uh if people already had it but that's what I was talking about earlier. But the all-in-one tabletop game organizer is an ultimate set consisting of items every gamer f finds necessary. There is no need to search for all these things separately, especially for you. Uh, we have collected this in one place in the most convenient, versatile, and compact set. Uh, yeah, so cool. Selling me on it. You can make your own personal... Whoa! Make your own personal set? Wow. Okay. So... 12 simple design, 2 bank designs. Okay. Wow, that is really cool. So you're going to be able to customize this however you want it. I almost feel like that should be higher. I really do. Um, yeah, like, there's this is so well laid out. And I feel like everything... I, I want to I categorize this. Everything I'm talking about now is nitpicking. Because I think they're just banging this so hard this is this is spectacular they're banging the drum very very well i don't know if that's a that's a thing people say but i would totally let people know oh you're not just getting one of each you get to choose the ones that you think you're gonna want because you'd be like oh that'd be great for this game you know this is my favorite game i think it'd be great for this and, oh no i really like this one and, and i almost feel like that I, yeah it should be highlighted fill your gamer chest with any compa components you need in any design in any possible quantity what fits into the tower wow this is cool so you get to put it exactly Exactly how you want to do it just oh and that gives it such a unique one-of-a-kind feel you know this is my tower this is specifically my tower uh and wow the engraving now we haven't really learned much about the engraving here you know and, and i like i said we're in nitpick mode but if i can get my own custom engravings here which i'm gonna guess is something they'll let you do uh, you know maybe the, maybe they got like a laser pecker or something and no that's not inappropriate there's actually uh a wood engra there's an engraver called the laser pecker it's really cool do a kickstarter if you want it what fits into the tower uh, yeah, I want to know about the engraving. The gamer's chest folds and unfolds in seconds. I saw this all in the video. It's awesome. I know. It's awesome. It's awesome. Gamer chest and details. I get it. It's great. It's spectacular. Give me the add-ons. Okay. Full set alder. Additional coasters. Oh, wow. Okay. Additional coaster. Additional simple tile. Additional bank tile. Additional dice box. There's a lot of information here, but overall, I'd say they, the, putting it in this specific format was a great idea. It's very clean and simple to see. You know, oh, I'm going for the oak. Uh, and I would want an additional coaster. This was, uh, yeah, this is this is great. This is great. You know, some people might say there's too many numbers here. Maybe it's a little bit too jumbled. No, I say for the people who are going to buy this product, which are, you know, pro, pro, most likely going to be gamers who are used to counting up numbers, you know, especially numbers like this. Oh, 5 plus 10 plus 14 plus 22. You know, that is something that we are used to doing. I have no problem with the shipping or, or with the uh, the pledge manager area. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, why have we waited this long to see all the different woods? Oh, this is the... So this is weird. Normally when I start scrolling down a Kickstarter, it's like, oh, I have to keep going and going and going and going because I feel like I, I feel like I need to do my due diligence on the said Kickstarter. But this one, I want to keep going. I want to see more. Maybe that's the strategy that they're trying to go here with, which I commented a little bit earlier on the fact that the pictures were moving so stinking fast that I wanted to slow down, but that left me wanting more. Hmm, Interesting. The wenge, oh, I want the wenge, the oak, the cherry, the papa dog, the wenge, I don't even know what these words are, engraving, okay, 23 kinds of possible engravings gives you a choice of your imagination, they are presented in the picture, and you can choose at the end of the project when you receive a summary, so it is limited to 23, more to come, so that, you know, that's a, that's, oh, wow, cool, <laughs> that is, oh, okay, I don't know if it's possible. You know what? I do know it's possible. It's possible. It is possible, and you should totally do this. Um, you make it so that you can give me, you know, we, we give you a 4 by 8 4 by 8 of whatever, like, image, and we can tell you if we can get that laser engraved for you. Like, if you could make that work, and, and it's still 20 bucks, everyone's going to want that everyone's going to want that their own custom one now i don't know the logistics of it i mean that's the thing but if there is some tool that you can purchase and you say to the people you know uh put it as a stretch goal put it as a, find out whatever that tool is because oh my gosh this is this is genius because obviously your your job now is woodworking forever 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 you're gonna be a woodworker if you want to be this is gonna put you in that position you're going to be at conventions you know your life is going to change this is this is your rocket ship 
if it's not already changed. Uh, but but uh, but I'm saying, you know, if you plan on doing more woodworking things in the future, which obviously I'm sure you have a billion ideas, because you know, as as a content creator, I have a billion ideas in my head as well, and I'm sure you probably are about the same way. And and you figure out what the most expensive woodworking tool is, or the, 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 not the most expensive, but the cheapest one that you can do that is going to allow you to, to engrave on there. And you say, if we can hit the stretch goal, we will open up the engravings or something like that. Something along those lines, maybe. And, and then you also now have that tool forever. So it's going to be more work for you because you're going to have to, you know, jump through all those hoops. But at the same time, you will have an insanely useful tool. That's going to open up your toolbox, uh, to, to, to all sorts of different potential, Things you can do, but man, it already looks like you got some cool stuff there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about woodworking, but that's what but that's what I would aspire to, if it is possible to let people come up uh, with their own. Let's see. Leather mat, $10. Cool. Is that the thing that's uh, the, the, the fancy one? Cool. Organizing components, dice tower, modular tiles. I just feel like you're repeating yourself now. We know it's awesome. Magnetic class, slope for dices, dice trays as additional locker storage for the kit, magnetic latch. Oh, man, I like it. You're showing me how the sausage is. Like, we saw the cool thing in the video, but now it's like the behind the scenes. Oh, you're more interested in how that works? That's cool. Love it. Love it. Storage for the kit. Cool. Let me see. Oh, no, not that. I don't want to see that. I saw that. Yes, you drop it in there. Looks good. I mean, the, everything. At this point, it's all just it's all just icing on the cake. You know, they're making me feel incredibly comfortable that this is going to happen, that it's not going to be a scam, and they know what they're doing. And they have uh, fine-tuned and perfected it. And look at this, now they're going exactly in-depth. You know what I might even do? You know what we might even do here? I would, I would reach out to people, and I would say, Hey, we're running a contest here. And, uh, if, you know, maybe, maybe if your game is picked, we'll, we'll, I don't know, just do something for somebody. Maybe just say we're, we're, uh, we're, we're running a voting thing in the comments, anything like that. And you say, pick one of the segment simple tiles, the 12 types, and what game do you think that particular one would work best for? And, and then have people, you know, I don't know if you could do this in your comments section. I don't know if it's logistical, but have people like say, oh, uh, respond to this if you like that one. And we'll put the top ones up here to kind of give people ideas uh, of which of these simple tiles would be best for them based on their game collection. And you could do that right now in the middle of the campaign. You could launch that tomorrow. You could say, all right, I'm looking for ideas for here. Uh, post in the comments. And so people are like, oh, I think that would be great for Splendor. I think it would be great for them. You know, people would be looking at their collections and be like, hmm, what, could, what, could, what would be perfect for this? Because, you know, I'm sure so, a lot of the people that have already backed this have thought about what would be, which, which ones they're going to order and why they're going to order them. And if they're willing to share that information with you, which especially in your comments section, which is going to tickle all those Kickstarter algorithms, I would totally get them commenting in there. And then you can even use their ideas and maybe put the pictures right below them. Be like, great for games like X and then have the pictures here. Uh, and that, I think that would be really cool. And you could even then reach out to the companies and say, Hey, um, let's see, uh, the crew, uh, was seen as one of the best games to be held by our tile with a dedicated center segment, which obviously isn't the case, but wh whichever one. And then maybe you get Fame and Cosmos uh, more involved in this and interested in this, and maybe they share it, maybe they tweet about it. Who knows? Like, you just, you're, you're getting more buzz up about the product because the product is spectacular. Look, look, look at there, boom. Cool. Bag tiles, four types, awesome. You can do the same thing with these as well. Look at that. You even have ideas. Just put them in there magnets you can mix and match tiles in a way that suits you equal outdoor dimensions okay <laughs> just at this point i do it to be open though i want it to be over i want to get into the updates of the comments but i'm gonna keep going coasters cool love coasters love me some coasters look at that they hold soda rewards and wood selection <clears throat> still going still going take it to your home the wood looks great we know i i know oh okay this is good uh i would honestly put this a little bit earlier I mean, because at this point... Oh, and shipping. I don't think we've talk, touched shipping at all, either. Shipping down here? All right. Uh, so you're getting it May 2021. That seems great. Seems great. I think that's uh, that's awesome. First, cool. Do, no shipping. Do, do, okay, control F. Did they mention shipping in any way, shape, or form? There are no additional charges. Shipping charge for add-ons. Okay. But what about just for the regular stuff? 
Okay, I would totally include an area about shipping, and I would be very upfront about that. I don't know if that's logistical. Um, well, here's what I would do. Here's what I do. Because uh, I know there's going to be different weights associated with different things. Maybe just figure out what the most expensive thing, or the, the, the heaviest thing you can do. Like, oh, there's also no stretch goals. No stretch goals! Hmm. Okay. No stretch goals at all. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't like that. I don't know if it's a logistical thing for you to do, but you got 1,200 people here. You start dealing out stretch goals, and you're talking about maybe bumping that 250 to a couple million. You get people excited about the project, which they already are. Just give them something. Give them something to keep coming back for. Give them, the, give them a contest. Give, you know, maybe it's in the updates. We'll get to the updates. But uh, I totally feel like, yeah, stretch goals would be great. But, uh, oh, back to the shipping. Just figure out what the most expensive one of the, 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 sorry, the heaviest one you could possibly do. What is the heaviest one of these that someone could make? And then you just take that, you, say, you know, you go down from there. You say the shipping will most likely be from this range to this range. Just give people a ballpark. Let me know. Because I have no idea how much this weighs. I have no idea how much it's, it's going to cost. Just let me know. Oh, it's going to be $30 shipping. And you say, okay, well, $30 shipping. That's a lot of shipping. But you know what is a premium, heavy piece of wood? Whatever. I'm just saying you should have something about shipping. FAQ. Can I purchase additional tiles? How can I add the engraving? Is EU custom? Nope, nothing about shipping. Updates. Four updates. Not bad. Not dead. Dear Game of Chess lovers, we have a great Christmas weekend. These days have been incredible. Thanks to your energy and support. Thanks to everyone who supported our project. We are adding two rewards, and we'd like to highlight the difference between them. Uh, okay. Full set special price. And the full set special price. Wait, what? Um, your choice is what is more... Uh, deliver t delivery time or price. Oh, oh, so this is like you get it earlier. Okay. Okay. So it's in the update. Cool. Is that the thing that I was confused about earlier? I wonder about adding 23 kinds of possible engraving. Very cool. I still think I still think you could make yourself a million dollar project right now if you made it just so you can get whatever engraving you want. <laughs> I mean, I think people would go absolutely bananas for that. People would go nuts. Comments. Let's see what we got. What is the engraving page? Couldn't choose it the order. What? When is the engraving paid? Couldn't choose it the order. Oh, okay. Uh, you can choose the Tree of Life engraving. I have that on my other wood accessories. I'd love that. Thank you for your advice. We're going to add more engraving soon, and we'll try to add this one as too. First thing I need to do is commend you on all your innovation. Wormwood gets me to appreciate fancy wooden things for board gaming, but this set blew me away. I know that running Kickstarters like this can be very complex with matching high numbers of SKUs, but I think screw-in magnets could really make this project work for me i'm happy to pay extra if needed as of now i'm on the fence but excited to see what you come up with huh interesting thank you for your advice we really appreciate all suggestions on improving our product and take them into consideration okay that's i mean that's the that's the best answer you can come with there because if you just say yeah that's great we're gonna do that people will be like oh wow so you guys didn't put that much thought into it uh which you know i don't think many people would do but you could get that impression if someone was just random, like, you should do this, they're like, you know what, we are going to do that. I don't know, it just seems a little bit flippy floppy. Uh, but uh, but I think they get up with the best answer, which, yeah, oh yeah, we'll definitely take that into consideration and see if that makes it better. I managed to get one of these special price full sets, and I'd like to upgrade it to Black Walnut if possible. How much do I need to add to my pledge? There's the answer from three days ago. <clears throat> oh, okay. Okay, so they look like they're pretty active on here. Looks good. Looks great. Uh, overall, I would say, you know, this one, I, I give it a zero, which is keep scrolling. Obviously not the case. A one, back it for a dollar, come back in the last 48 hours. Or a two, back it for the whale. This one, I'm going to give it a straight one. I mean, there, there appears to be next to no rush uh, to get anything. I would just, you know, wait until the last 48 hours, see how your finances are, and then say, maybe did they add some more stuff? Because I, I seriously think, like, uh, if there was any way, because having... 1,700 backers. That is so many backers. And if you can just get one-tenth of your backers engaged in the comment section, like uh, like your next update, what games are you specifically thinking about using for which... Like, I would totally get into that. Or talking about uh, the engraving, custom engravings, or, <clears throat> or anything like that. You know, but... Let me know what you think in the comments below. Overall, I'm impressed uh, with the Gamers Chest. I think they did a bang-up job. I think the video was spectacular. Uh, I think they started off well, but I do think there's definitely some room for improvement there. Uh, but still, 
spectacularly done. Hats off. If you enjoy this segment, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also, if you're interested in having a fiber done on a specific product, project, project, that's the word, uh, post in the comments below, or you can even pay me 20 bucks and I'll do it on Fiverr for you. Ha ha ha! But uh, just post in the comments and I'll do it too. <laughs> but anywho, thanks for your time, YouTube.